It was Derby delight for West Coast fans as the club records its seventh straight victory over the Crosstown rivals, thus propelling the side six premiership points clear into second position on the ladder. It was an emphatic win, but unfortunately the game will probably be remembered for all the wrong reasons as Andrew Gaff prepares to face the wrath of the AFL Tribunal. Welcome to another episode of Eagle Review, proudly sponsored by Kennard's Hire. Ben Roberts with me again. What a controversial review this may be, Benny. Yeah, but, um, everyone look forward to the derby for all the right reasons and unfortunately we're going to remember it for all the wrong reasons. Let's touch on the 58 point uh, emphatic victory first and get to Gaff a little later but really seemed in control of the contest from go to woe. Yeah, they free amount started well but the Eagles asserted their, their uh, authority on the game and really never looked back and Last week there was no supply and they got smashed in the middle and this week they won this supply battle convincingly and they won the, the contest convincingly. I mean the turnaround, last week it was minus 26 contested possession, this week it was plus 29. So they really turned that around and that was uh, the key to victory. Scores from turnovers massive as well, 14-11 from 77 Dockers turnovers whereas it was just 6 goals 3 from 60 inside 50 entries for the Dockers. So really capitalised on those errors there. Let's jump straight to it though Benny, the gaff incident in danger of missing the entire 28 season including finals we're gonna to have to wait till Tuesday night to find all of that out and it's Brayshaw season the fractured jaw four missing teeth I've seen a photo of it looks horrendous poor fella thoughts are with all the Brayshaws yep. weird scenario having one of them on our list as well the incident wasn't replayed to the crowd so a lot of uh, negative publicity to the crowd for cheering Gaff when he was coming off they probably didn't see what happened as yeah. well as so that's unfortunate as well but it sparked a game within a game in itself yeah it, it, it almost got out of control there yesterday I mean, it was emotions sort of spilled over and um, yeah we'll have to wait and see what happens tomorrow night at the tribunal but of course um, our thoughts are with uh, the Brayshaw family as well um, yeah not not we want to see uh, in any game you know any sport any time and um, in terms of what it became and I even thought that they might pull the captains over like they do in rugby and just say look we just need to calm down um, yeah look Really disappointing all round. 174 games in Andrew Gaff's AFL career. Never been reported once, nor in his junior footy days. So it's a hell of a time to uh, to come up against it. Thought Ballantyne was going to get suspended for life as well if he connected on this hit when Andrew Gaff uh, put his head over the ball uh, just minutes after the incident. This is an interesting one here as well. If you just look at Brayshaw's head in conjunction with the sign and just a couple of frames later, it's a bit lower there. And that unfortunately ended to a uh, hit in the gob. So we do wish him all the best and a speedy recovery. Going to be drinking through a straw for a while. Benny, what are your thoughts on a Elliot Yo collecting his first and the inaugural Ross Glendening Allen medal? Yeah, I thought he was very, very good obviously to get in the votes. I thought there were others that could have equally have won it. Uh, Redo was very good come second. And uh, Sheppy comes third. We thought Shep was going close, going to go close midway through the game. Thought it was a fairy tale finish for a 150 yeah. gamer as well. Yeah. Thought maybe if he kicked the goal that could have cemented it for him not to be. Yeah, but uh, yo, he was amazing in 26 touches, 13 score involvements, 8 inside 50s, you know, over 600 metres gained uh, That's two a goals. That's a truckload of metres. Could, could have kicked that uh, other running goal. Uh, would have been one of the goal of the year contenders. Probably not after Higgins last week, but um, it would have been a ripper. Uh, hit the post, unfortunately. Redden was very close, 33 touches. Jeez, he's been good this year. He like, has been. This is the player that we recruited a couple of years ago, and he's he's going really, really well, really consistent, really defined role. Love it. Inside stuff, 10 marks and a goal for him. Sheps was real good. Yeah. Of marks, moved, a lot of link-up stuff. Could have kicked the goal, as we said. One of the Eagles' best for sure. Struggled early in his career, Shep, finding a position, finding a home in that 22, and great to see the player he's now become such a sturdy, reliable member of that back six. Uh, another negative incident on the game, Will Schofield, been in great form over the last month, suffered a hamstring injury. You could see him warming up on the boundary during the game, so it perhaps shows the severity of it, not on the massive side of things when you're testing it to see if it's right to get back on. Hopefully. Scans to come out later, we'll find out about that. A few other random moments of the game that we caught our eye. What about the skill level from Shannon Hearn here? Just one bounce off the deck, one of the cleaner pickups of the day, lace out ball running at nearly full clip. He's been unbelievable yeah, in 2018. He's Australian captain, I reckon, still still holding on to that mantle. Uh, Vardy, look at this tap down to Venice. Uh, didn't you like this one? Gorgeous. Very clean. Burst away, Venice, like it. Uh, McGovern spin out of trouble. Not known for his agility, it must be said. One of the slower spins you'll see in some time, but you uh, pay credit where credit's due. Nice effort. What about now? I did the first time Real and Ryan have been together for a little while, and Geez, they were dangerous on the ground. Like, we got a number of goals from crumbs. And, and even look at this one where Rioli goes back hard as into the unknown, really, and gets a hand to it, and, and Ryan gets the goal 
as a result, um, we were dangerous on the ground in the forward 50 all day, and those two look particularly dangerous when the ball hits the deck. They're a handful for the opposition. Time for the Kennards roast of the round. This list is monstrous, so let's get to it. Someone tell Sheridan that Mzungu has retired, not playing anymore for the Dockers. Stop trying to hit him up inside forward 50. He's your runner now, mate. Pay attention. This is not kicking in danger. If the player doesn't follow through, uh, with their kicking technique past the starting position of the ball, that costs Frio a goal. That's very stiff, and I don't agree with that call. Stiff, a couple of quick ones hitting Frio's way. Uh, Tucker forgot how to handball. We need to do that at AFL level, so I would have thought work on that one during the week. Tabbing and pushing the back. Was that there? Maybe not, but if not, it was there and roast. <laughs> Frio fans, uh, if you're going to spell out words in the crowd, let's just make sure to get them right. So the cheer squad just had the G around the wrong way. Oh, it's no good at all. Uh, Liam Ryan, missing everything here in the second term, had too many options. Another massive leap and drop. Now, when's he going to take one, Benny? He's We're all, do it. We see the leap. It's going to come. We're waiting patiently. Waiting patiently. There's that uh, year supply of wheat bix could be his if he gets up there and, and takes a good one. Correct. Well, you're telling me that, uh, that Walters could have broken a leg here, but because it was kicking in danger, just bad luck. Mm, OK, right. that's an interesting one. Whatever. Uh, Shuey, poor kick. Not too great. Should be a turn of makes up for it just after this. Nice tackle. Nice tackle. Uh, what about Hutchings? Uh, it was pretty good on Neil, I thought. Uh, Seven to 26. Yeah, got away a little bit at stages, but uh, had 21 himself, which is uh, probably the, in terms of balance there. What about this, though? Falling over, looking like a who's a damn goose uh, in the back line. And, uh, could have been a goal. Enjoyable there. Lysa distracted by Walters and the gaff push and shove. Do love the comment here from the umpire. Let's check it out. I reckon you've got to look this way, mate. Just about to bounce it. <laughs> then Lysa threatens up throwing Ballantyne up in the air, hip toss. Pick your battles, Hayden. Not the 210 centimetre ruckman, I wouldn't have thought. Uh, Johnson playing on uh, out from the back pocket. That's gone out of bounds. Probably learned that rule in under nines, but give it another crack. Mine's not on the job there. Uh, Gov having mark of the year taken on him. It's a beauty, it? though. Yeah. And uh, know each other reasonably well, those two. A little bit of a giggle from Gov uh, almost immediately. Mate, Walters didn't even look at the ball until the last fraction yeah. of the second. It's, it's unbelievable, Mark. Weighing up the hanger before he even looked at <laughs> worrying about taking the hanger. Uh, Cripper and Tommy Barris in this photo. I uh, don't know what they're doing there, but... Derby celebration. Uh, they're in a different world, those two. Yep. Let's go around the grounds quickly now. Joel Selwood, I think he's still trying to scrub the Sharon logo off his face from that one. Hit it hard. Good gem. Uh, I agree. Nothing wrong with this tackle from Nan Curvis. Play on. Apparently you don't need the ball anymore to get your head <laughs> bounced off the turf. Matty Wright slots through this one. Gives a little cheeky goal celebration. Uh, no, you calm down. You've been belted by 105 of the best. Giants are kicking goals when they've got 16 men on the park. Bigger fish to fry than goal celebration, Matty. Uh, uh, score review, obviously very contentious effort uh, in uh, Adelaide. I think the rev you can't the incident you can't you can't turn that over on what was seen. But can't interview Josh Jenkins on the ground before they're making the yeah. call. Um, no, and kudos to Grandma for raising him not to uh, not to tell fibs. But I think something's got to be done about the score review. So a little roast that way, just Correct. a little one, because enough big roasts have been coming from all angles for that. But the winner now, Stephen. Before I do this. You've given out roasts for many a year, mm. and you've never once had a look in the mirror, and it's about time that you did. Here we go. But we're going to be joined tonight by Brad Shepard after his 150th game, and Elliot Yo, who won someone's medal. So let's look forward to that. Do it again. This idiot. Oh. I didn't read on his face. What are you doing there? Explain it. You know this is happening. You know how it works post-game. Please explain yourself. Mr. Magoo there. I wasn't really paying attention and uh, deserving of my first roast in nine years. Errors. Make a job with